Boom. <laughs> biddly, 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 biddly bar. I need a shave, bro. Here we go. Yes, yes, yo. You know what time it is. Get that badger in and on and over here. I had to move back to get his greatness in. He's in, he's on, he's over, he's here. Clout Chase is back. The clock watchers are in. The boom stays. My single is out tomorrow, guys. If you want to help a brother out, click the link below. However you get your music, Amazon iTunes, Spotify, whatever. iTunes is personally better for me because we try to climb them charts, baby. But yeah, I'd appreciate it if you click the link below. Got a couple of quick shouts to do. Shout out to Rich Sullivan and shout out to Sean Rooney. Shout out to Rich Sullivan, shout out to Sean Rooney. We're both long term members on the old channel. 99p a month. There's a, should be a little button that you click just below saying join. And you get in, you get on, and you get over here and you get your shout outs, which I just put on a loop. So hopefully you'll start recognising these names and they become household City Leeds fans, West Coast Warriors. Buzzing for Saturday. I'm so glad it's back. International's out of way. They should all be back today. Uh, Farky Faki Fucker said that there are a few sort of coming back today that just done a light session, a few back yesterday, even day before a couple. So, you know, they, they're sort of bleeding back into the side. But yeah, well, well back into training. Um it was really nice about Cooper, because just to clarify, Farky Fucky Fucker's just done an interview about uh, four hours ago or something. Um, it really nice about Cooper. Didn't He said he wasn't going to add too much to everything that had been said. Obviously, we read out Cooper's statement yesterday, which was nice. Been plenty of tributes for him. Phillips, Ailing, everybody sort of come out from the, the fucking old guard which we will talk about a bit later on when we get on to Old Guard because it's quite funny what's been occurring online. So, yeah, but widely I would say 98% positive over Cooper, which has been nice, to be fair. I've spent a lot of time talking about Cooper on the channel, defending Cooper on the channel, uh, and a lot of people saying that he's the worst centre-back that's ever lived or walked the earth, as that tends to have been the narrative over the years. But then the quiet people come out then when you know when he's gone and want to pay respects to him and probably there's a few people that are slagging him off want to get on board with it and say I bloody loved Cooper and I never said a bad word about him also I want to mention people getting blocked on other people's channels is not my issue so if anybody's getting blocked you know what I mean it's not I don't block anybody I think the I mean I've heard some stories about people that block people for mentioning uh players on on the channel but i don't know that might be that might be a myth it might be might be misinformed it might be or it might be malinformation which if it's malinformation then if something comes up then it must come out nobody gets blocked over here i think i probably should start blocking people i might get a few more subscribers Pew! subscribe to the channel while you still can before you <coughs> before i fucking <coughs> get rid of you <coughs> blocking it's too much for me. No comment can hurt. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but comments will never ever hurt me. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some late decisions to be expected with the injuries. A couple of little knocks, little niggles. He mentioned Max Wobber, Wibbling Wobber, so that wet wipe is clearly staying because there were rumours yesterday that he might be going over to Turkey to get some minutes, the jank. Uh, Farky Faki Fucker did also say that the rumours are done. Finito, he didn't say Finito, but he did say done. So this is the squad that's going to leave with us. Obviously, I know we can't bring anybody in, but there was some talk because the Turkish window don't close till Friday. Must be one hell of a window if you're cutting off Turkey. Just closing window. Must be at least a patio door like them sliders. Come in, and then you got that little clicker that you got to push up. That's never, never quite there. And then when you get it, blah, it's a beautiful thing. Dan James is out. I'm gutted for him to be honest. Uh, and Faki Faki Fucker has said that it's four weeks that he's out for next international break. He's expected back, hopefully the week before that, so the game before that. But I think we've got a few midweekers up to that. Um, so you know. In, but then if not that, he will be back after the international break. He's at, he's, he's had a re-injury. So, um, obviously, 
can't get back. It's worse than his original injury. So gutted for him. I'm gutted for him on the on the basis that he sort of lost his position naturally, and we've never had to make a decision over him. Everybody's obviously Dan James is also one of the first to go, the first to get, first to get killed, first to go down in the war, but in the war of um, my new favourite players, which everybody seems to be singing off the same hymn sheet. Um, yeah, it's just it's just annoying when you don't have when facky facky fucker doesn't have to make a decision about it. So I would like that Dan James would have stayed in that position last. Well, I say last week, whenever it was when we played um, Hull. But obviously Solomon came in, so you would imagine Solomon stays in because he's not he's not going to chop that. I don't think he's going to make as many changes as people think. I want to talk about Tanaka in a in a solid second in a in a single minute, but. We will get to that, but I don't think he's going to start chopping the team up like people do. I can't see the point, uh, particularly when we're in sort of winning ways, we're in some sort of form, we're still unbeaten. Uh, he mentioned that Bamford is back. Uh, he's back in training, been back in training, I believe, since Tuesday, I think he said, at a slight guess, trying to remember what he said. Uh, but he did mention that he's been out for 11 weeks and he's back for a few weeks and he's gone out again. So obviously it ain't realistic for ninety minutes, but he was never going to get ninety minutes anyway, was he? He's not. He's not going to come straight back into the side when Joseph's playing as well as he is. I'll say it again. I say it once. I'll say it again. Bamford's going to be very important this year. We could do with him being fit. There's no reason why we can't negotiate him through the season where this is his last injury, unless he picks him up in training, which is, you know, if you start picking up a lot of injuries in training when he's not even on the pitch, then it's, I don't know. It, I feel for Bamford in, in a sense that I just know what it's like when you get injured every time you pretty much get touched. It's like going to a tackle. It's it's awful and I don't know whether it's a little bit in his head at this point where, you know, it's difficult to know. I think, you know, some players, when you've been extremely injury prone, you go into a tackle, something hurts a bit and you think, that's me out for another four weeks. And do you know what I mean? I think there's obviously a level, there's a level that, level of pain you have to play through and then a level of pain, a level of pain, and then a level of pain that, you can play through but shouldn't and then there's a level of pain that you can't play through and won't play through so it's a fine line isn't it but once your head goes once Ed's gone you're in you're on you're out it's over for you but yeah international breaks broke us up a little bit of that there's no doubt including new signings as well because plenty of them went out uh, people have spoke about how we're always a bit shaky when we get back from international break which is obviously a legitimate concern Um but I think we're going to be up for it. I think we're going to be banging at it. I can't wait. It's a bit shit that it's an half 12 game, but I will be there and I will be square. I can't wait. It's mint when we're back. I hate the international break. It's so boring. There's no going on. And then facky facker fucker does an interview. Don't even say all because the questions are so miserable. The questions are so boring. They just say the same thing on repeat. And then they ask about the new player and say, how's he settling in? And then the new player, how's he settling in? Think of some question, boys. You've got the man, the the hour, the the top of the Eiffel Tower, and you're chatting shit like that. Boring balls. It does my head in. Mundane. Farker's quite good at, you know, killing time when he's answering his questions. So ask him something that he might not be able to just waffle on about it for. I know it's a tactic of his where he answers it forever so that everybody goes like, oh, shit, is it my go again? Right, yeah. Uh can Tanaka pass a football? Is Tanaka a good football player? All right, then what about Ramazzini? Is he decent? Yeah? Oh. You know that Schmitz? That new fella? What's he like? Is he decent at asking... Uh, uh, not at asking questions? That's my fucking job. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, what were we saying? Yeah, Schmitz, is he any good at... Uh, I don't know. No, no, I can't say passing because I said about Tanaka. Crossing! Can he cross a ball? Yes, he can cross, he can pass, he's very nippy on the... The professional footballers, you knobheads. Of course they can pass a football, of course they can cross a football. Can they do it at this level? We don't know until we watch them. So stop it. We've, we're doing it with Tanaka. This is my shit, right? So this is the talking point. So it's happening with Tanaka. Tanaka has to come in now. I've actually been... Apparently, to be fair, Daniel Farker did want him last year, which I got off of Joe. Uh, just Joe said that a few months ago to me on a podcast. 
And I didn't know that. And then he's actually said it that we was in for him last year. So there is some talk. And he's apparently been after him before. So there is some talk that Kamara wasn't his man. And that's why he's moved out. And then Tanaka's moved in. But he does not come straight into the side on Saturday. I will be extremely surprised. I can't believe how much Gruev is getting thrown under the bus. Do you not remember how much he was all banging on about Gruev? I know Cooper's gone now. I know, you know, they're all moving on. So we can't just go, It's fucking his fault, his shit gun! Oh, like, I know Mesley is, Silent S is there, so, he's fucking shit, he's shit, I fucking hate him, he's rubbish. That's the reason why we don't win every single game that we've ever played. But he will not come back into the side. Not yet. It's remarkable how the mob switch. You go from being like, Gruev is like, Gruev, 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 that's all you're ever hearing. And I was actually a critic of Gruev last year. Even though I thought he had a really good season, I was a slight critic of his because I thought he came too deep and got the ball just off Ampadu and rode on for no apparent reason and passed it sideways and then pointed forward. I think he looks busy. I think he breaks the game down quite well. But there was a commenter who quite literally said, Tanaka has to start. Gruev is the worst player at the club along with Rodon. Come on. Remarkable statement. What's wrong with everyone? Soon as people move, like say Cooper, we're straight in. Who's who's the next fall guy? I actually thought it'd be Struick Struick a few years ago. Strouk, Struck, Struck. But he sort of managed to still be adored. But uh do not fear, they will come for him. One slip, either metaphorically or literally, and they're coming for you, boy. Nobody's safe. Check out my single, it's out tomorrow. Please stream it, please buy it, do whatever you want with it. Tell your mate about it, even if you don't like it. Every little helps. I know that's a slogan. Burnley, big game tomorrow. It's a good yard stick. Let's go. Two favourites to go up. Bosh. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises why I asked.